Okay, so this has had a little chance to dry. It is mostly flat. It has a little bit of a curve to the edge, but it's not that big of a deal. It's mostly flat. So this is the time where I'm going to cut out all my pieces. Um, I don't have to worry about keeping track, making sure that they fit back together because I'm not making a puzzle. I'm just cutting out pieces that are going to get assembled together. So for this part, all you're going to still need is your scissors and um, you could use some glue if you want to um, if you want to make this sculpture permanent a glue stick hot glue if you use hot glue make sure you get a parent or someone older at the house who knows how to use a hot glue gun that can help you with it I would not recommend doing it yourself um, but you don't have to have hot glue you could use liquid glue you could use um, glue stick or you could just use no glue you don't need glue at all you could just use your scissors and I'm going to show you how to do it with just your scissors just keep in mind if you don't use glue you might not um, have a permanent sculpture which means it could fall apart on you or it could be taken apart easily um, so if you do like the idea of it being permanent there forever um, then you're going to want some sort of glue at some point. But you're not going to need it right away anyway because you're going to be playing around with your ideas and trying a lot of different things. So I did all of my geometric shapes. Those were really fast and easy to cut. They came out real straight and sharp and pointed and easy. Um, these curvy shapes, this is the part that's harder and takes a little bit more time. Um, you have to really concentrate when you're cutting. You have to make sure that you're using one hand to move the cardboard around. When I do the cutting, I keep my scissors open and I slowly cut. And as I'm cutting slowly, I'm turning with my other hand the cardboard. When I get to an inside point like that, I don't cut. I leave my scissors open and then I turn and rotate. Actually, this is going to be really hard to so watch what I'm going to do. It's really hard for me to get that angle because I'm going to rip this if I do that. So instead, I'm going to stop and I'm going to go from the other direction. And that's a lot easier to do. So sometimes you don't have to keep going. You can stop and come at it from the other direction. And sometimes that works really good also. So don't feel like you have to do the whole thing in one shot. Sometimes cutting things out. Um... From another direction is a good idea so like when I get down to here I could try to turn and go this way but this might be really hard for me to get at so instead I might stop and I might come at it from the other direction where I have less cardboard in my way over here and that makes it easier for cutting so if you're having any trouble with cutting first of all um, I would say try that first if that's not working, then call someone over who you know is a good cutter. It could be a parent, could be an older family member who lives with you, could be um, a sibling, whoever can help you do these cuts just so you can get them done. Okay, so now that the whole thing is cut out and I've got all my pieces cut out, now I'm going to start assembling my sculpture. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you're on a flat surface. You don't want to try to do this on a rug or anything that's going to be moving. It's even better to do this on something that you can like move things with. So if you have a tray or a lid of something, if you want to make sure it stays all together and be able to move it all together, that's a good idea too. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now because I'm just going to be working on my messy tray and then um, I will worry about putting things together later. So I'm going to decide which ones I want on the bottom. I'm going to recommend to you guys that you pick a piece that has a flat edge for the bottom, um, at least for the bottom couple pieces because otherwise if it's curvy a lot of times they kind of have a hard time staying still but you could still try it if you want but I would start with something like this and you're going to decide where you want to put your pieces together I think I'm going to start by taking these two pieces and I want them to kind of get put together one on top of the other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want that to go how I think that would look and wherever I want it, I'm going to take a little, um, you have to think about it before you do it, okay? Because this is permanent now. So I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to make a little snip 
and I'm not cutting all the way through, okay? I just cut a little ways. And then I'm just gonna slide this piece right in and it locks in together. And sometimes you have to bend and twist to get to figure out how they're going to stay together. Now it's kind of still falling apart, which means I think I need another one over here to maybe help it stand up. So there's gonna be a lot of experimenting. So I think I need another one here. So I'm gonna cut another little snip right there. And I can move this around because nothing's permanent right now except for the slits that I'm making. So I'm gonna have two at the bottom, one right there, and there we go, now it's standing up. Awesome. But I still, it's still kind of short. I wanna make this sculpture taller. Now I can use all my pieces or just some of the pieces. So it is standing up, which is great. Um, if I wanna make sure it's a little bit more steady, I can try to put another piece on the other side to make sure there's enough standing on the ground or I could just start building up and putting more pieces on top. So wherever you want to put pieces, you have to think about where they're going to go and where you want to snip so that they can go together. Now once you snip it, that snip is permanent, but if you change your mind, you could always take it off and if you don't want to use that snip, you could put a piece of tape on the back to hide it. So I think I want it to slide in right there. So I'm gonna take my scissors and make a little snip. And I'm gonna slide that in right there too. Awesome. So this is starting to get stronger now, my sculpture. It's starting to stay in place now. So you can see I have some really cool shapes that I'm playing with here. I'm actually gonna bend my camera down so you can kind of see it in different angles. You can see how I've got some really cool shapes. Now you can see on the back, you can see the, the cardboard from the cereal. Um, but because I chose colors on the front that are similar, um, even if you see the inside pieces, they don't look like they don't go together. They kind of go together nicely. Um, and you can decide how you want this is to be displayed. Now this is staying together pretty well right now, actually. See so, yeah, how when I pick it up, it just kind of stays together. Um, you might not need any glue, but if you put it all together, you decide you really want this to be permanent, you might want to take the piece out, put a little liquid or hot glue in, and then stick the, the cardboard back in. Um, but I'm going to do a fast speed right now and show you how I'm finishing it up, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, here's my finished sculpture. I'm showing you from a couple different angles. So as I move this around, I'm putting a white piece of paper behind it so you can really see the sculpture. Now, if you look from different angles, it's gonna look different depending on what direction you're looking at it. Um, but this is my finished sculpture. And um, you'll notice also though that I did not use all of my pieces. I have some extra pieces because honestly, I decided that these pieces weren't gonna fit into the sculpture very well and stay together. So I decided that I was not going to include them. So you don't have to use all the pieces you make. You could use all of them or you don't have to. Again, if you really like your sculpture, um, you can either glue it when you're all done or you can glue it as you go along. So the first couple you do, you could glue, let it dry, then do a few more pieces, let it dry, and kind of keep working at it that way. 